um, thought that it would be great for Leona, and we gave it, you know, we gave it to them, and and now here we are. We had no idea that it was going to do what it did, though. I mean, that kind of took it took the whole world by storm. Yeah. So w- w- with something like that, I mean, uh, is there a part of you that goes, man, I wish this song was on my album, crap, you know? No, I mean, because you know why? The, the truth is that song had to be a hit by Leona Lewis. You know, that that hit, that song doesn't necessarily, a hit song doesn't necessarily mean it's a hit song uh, for another artist, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just, um, I think it's a lot of that's to do with timing, and she was so poised to blow up, too, you know? She was one X Factor, which is the idol of the U.S., of the U.K., and, you know, people were waiting and anticipating, and she came out with this big pop ballad, very diva-ish, and, uh, and she tore it apart. All right. Um, now, what is one weakness about yourself that maybe we don't know yet? One weakness about myself. Oh, uh, man. I I kind of procrastinate. Kind of a procrastinator. Uh-huh. It gets to me. I leave things for the last minute. And But I do work well under pressure, but I drive everybody else nuts. <laughs> and it's not a, it's not the greatest trait, I don't think. Right. What, um, we've been getting, uh, I've been getting this question a lot, and you have too, obviously, in the chat room. Uh, the girl in the leave-in video, do you have a past with her? Do I have a past with her? No, she's, that, her name is Nikki Huey, and, uh, she's an actress here in Los Angeles, and very talented, and, um, no, she's got a boyfriend, so it was, it was strictly professional, but she was a very, very, very nice girl, and absolutely gorgeous, as you can tell. And what we loved about her were her eyes, and how she was able to connect with the camera so, so well. She definitely drew you in. Mm-hmm. So are you, uh, you, you're single right now, obviously? Single right now. Are you, uh, are you, are you looking? Is, is that a, a major priority for you? I or? mean, I'm not like out with binoculars out there, you know, but, you know, I'm definitely avail- available if it happens, it happens, you know, but right now I've, I've been, I've, I've dated a little bit and uh, it's been interesting. I haven't found anything that's really cool. Uh, have, you, have you dated anybody that we would know? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think I think you're just trying to not say it, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just you know what man, I've been so busy with my career right now that it, it wouldn't be fair to anybody if I was in a committed relationship. Right. So that special someone, uh, what would it take for her to uh you know, to catch her eye and kinda, you know, I guess, you know, be in a, a, a serious relationship with you? Uh, I think part of it would just be you know, being understanding of what I do and you know, accepting it and being okay with it, and um, knowing that that's not, you know, that's not who I am. It's what I do. I think that's like the biggest. That's the big hardest thing I think for for girls or for the women to get over. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And what's hard for me to, and that's you know also what what's hard for me to distinguish between the two. Right. You know, whether she likes me for me or just likes the thought of me. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Chris the Hill wants to know: Do you do you pull inspiration from your real life uh, in your songs? Absolutely, yeah. No, like I said, this this new album even was, you know, definitely influenced from uh, personal experience, uh, particularly with with uh, women. Um, but just uh, my last couple, the last couple of years of my life, really. So w- w- when you're not working, what are you up to? Like, where can we find Jesse? Kind of hanging out. Oh man, when I'm not working. Ever not working, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> right now, man. I'm telling you, I'm working from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. with the band. <laughs> We got like 12 hour rehearsals, um, but right. But when I'm not working, what am I doing? Uh, I'm writing, or I guess do you consider that working? I I don't know. I love to cook. That's like kind of one of my. It's become a, a big passion or hobby of mine now. When I when I have nothing to do, I'm trying to cook. But what do you cook? What's, what's like your main? I go into like Top Chef and look up all the ingredients, look up how they cook certain things. Um, right now, I'm in the middle of making a. Uh, a chicken bacon ricotta, oh sorry, chicken uh, ricotta spinach and pineapple um, uh, casserole. Wow. Yeah. Sounds good. Must be nice. I'm like, I, I go right to Trader Joe's and I went, just kind of put some Parmesan sauce on it and try to pull it off for me, but. Yeah. No, <laughs> I just, I, re, I, went, I went and got, went and bought all the ingredients the other day, so I still have yet to cook. Okay. So would you ever, because uh, I've gotten about this, this question about a million times in the chat room, would you ever date a fan? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, um, I absolutely would date a fan. You know, I, I uh, listen, I, I, there's people out there that I'm a fan of uh, as far as women. There's, you know,